The Jumblies by Edward Lear, read for LibriVox.org by Anna Roberts. They went to sea in a sieve, they did, in a sieve they went to sea, in spite of all their friends could say, on a winter's morn on a stormy day, in a sieve they went to sea. And when the sieve turned round and round, and every one cried, You'll be drowned, they called aloud, Our sieve ain't big, but we don't care a button, we don't care a fig, in a sieve we'll go to sea. Far and few, far and few, are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green, and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed away in a sieve, they did, in a sieve they sailed so fast, with only a beautiful pea-green veil, tied with a ribbon, by way of a sail, to a small tobacco-pipe mast. And every one said, who saw them go, Oh, won't they be soon upset, you know, for the sky is dark, and the voyage is long, and, happen what may, it's extremely wrong, in a sieve, to sail so fast. The water it soon came in, it did, the water it soon came in, so to keep them dry they wrapped their feet in a pinky paper all folded neat, and they fastened it down with a pin, and they passed the night in a crockery jar, and each of them said, How wise we are! Though the sky be dark and the voyage be long, yet we can never think we were rash or wrong, while round in our sieve we spin. And all night long they sailed away, and when the sun went down, they whistled and warbled a moony song, to the echoing sound of a coppery gong, in the shade of the mountains brown. Oh, Timbaloo, how happy we are, when we live in a sieve and a crockery jar, and all night long in the moonlight pale we sail away with a pea-green sail in the shade of the mountains brown. They sailed to the western sea, they did, to a land all covered with trees, and they bought an owl and a useful cart, and a pound of rice, and a cranberry tart, and a hive of silvery bees, and they bought a pig, and some green jackdaws, and a lovely monkey with lollipop paws, and forty bottles of ring boree, and no end of stilts and cheese. And in twenty years they all came back, in twenty years or more, and every one said, How tall they've grown, for they've been to the lakes and the torrible zone, and the hills of the chonkly boar. And they drank their health, and gave them a feast of dumplings made of beautiful yeast, and every one said, If we only live, we too will go to sea in a sieve to the hills of the chonkly boar. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live, their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.